Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, One Mom Plus 3 TV, and today you guys, we are back with another hair video, and today you guys, you guys are getting a two for one special, okay, because we're going to be doing two hairstyles on Nikki today, and um, yeah, um, one of them were re was requested by Lisa Laura. Um, so I'm going to do that hairstyle, which is a simple two ponytail method where it doesn't hurt your scalp, no matter what hair texture you have. Um, and the second one is just a simple, cute hair, a half up, half down look. So I felt like because those hairstyles are super easy that I can do too. So if you guys are watching this and wonder why I'm wearing the same thing, it's because I filmed this in the same day. So, as you guys can see, uh, I already took the other hairstyle down the bun with the bangs. So, I'm going to get Nikki turned around if she can cooperate. Turn girl. And, oh my God. Uh, you guys check the comments. I've never laughed so hard on my other video. Oh my god. That was the funniest thing ever. So, basically, I think I'm going to do the two ponytails first because for me it's super simple and um, there's two ways where you can do a two ponytail. Now, I'm not a hair expert, but I do have three girls and I base um, what looks good like... I mean, basically, it's all about, like, your preference. Like, for me, I feel like if you have, like, hair, like, length, like, this long and it's curly, like, I mean, like, mixed textured hair, um, you know, higher, higher ponytails will look good with that, you know, and, like, the little curl uh, coming down on each side, if your hair is that texture. Now, if you have, like, 4C hair, then you can do like two high like buns or if you like relax your hair or um you know you have some type of length to your hair or if you're adding in extensions then you want to do like a low ponytail with low stress on the back of that hairline which i'll show you guys in this video so for her and nikki we're going to be doing um we're going to be doing a low two ponytail method because you know a lot of older women watch this and i'm pretty sure like if they have kids um you know they know how to um do you know two ponytails on their kids you know what i'm saying so this really isn't pertain to kids this is like women because sometimes i still like to do two ponytails on myself you know so we're going to get her hair parted. That's one thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put this to the side real quick with a scrunchie. So that way we can work on this side. And then I feel like, and I don't mean to sound rude or prejudiced or anything in this video um i just hope that you guys understand and know i'm not racist at all um i just feel like um depending on your hair type is depending on how your ponytail can look on you like um like if you're caucasian or, um, you know, Spanish or whatever, then you will want to do like a sleek straight down behind the ear type method. You know what I'm saying? Like make it come around and then pin it back like this with your scrunchie like that. And that's, I call the farm girl pigtails because they're really cute. And like at the end of the day, you can choose to curl this part down here that's out. 
Um, you can curl it like however you want it. You can spiral it up into a bun. Um, it's different things that you can do. Um, you can tie it to the other ponytail and do like a crisscross type thing with some bobby pins. It's different methods that you can do to that. And for us African-American women, now I like to do it this way. So instead of coming down, I like to go this way. Like almost as if you're doing a French braid. So you want to keep this part coming down and this part going that way. And the reason why, and like I said, it has, it has nothing to do with the texture or anything. It has to do with weighing your hair length. Because if you're not pulling it all the way around like this, your ponytail can seem longer. You know what I'm saying? So watch the difference. So with Nikki, I'm going to demonstrate. So... If I comb it that way or all the way around like this, right? Like I said before. So her hair is not as long. You feel me? Like it's not as uh, long as it can be. But if I go this way, if I go halfway that way and bring it down that way. You see how that hair instantly gets longer? Look at that. It gets longer. And it's all about how you do it. You know what I'm saying? So when women are like African-American women get cornrows, if you want that longer hair, like if you're doing natural or whatever, and you're doing natural two braids, then you want to start your cornrow at an angle like going back like how I just showed how you brush your hair this way and then you brush it on the top going down so it meets up at this point right here so you want to braid it all the way like that to keep it that length you know you want to keep that length on there but um, if you already have that longer hair then go ahead and swoop it down all you need is a little bit of water, especially if you're Caucasian. And I'm saying this because a lot of people that I've known, um, like my, if you guys watch any of my hair video, videos before, when I did my daughter's best friend's hair, water slicked her hair, like completely. You guys do not have to put product in your hair. If you want to maybe put some holding spray to keep the flyaways down, fine. But all the conditioners, and y'all don't need that stuff in your head. Um, so, yeah. So, Nikki has, I want to say medium hair. It's not long and it's not short. So, I'm going to do the method I said is good for African American hair. So, that's what we're going to do for her. And... Let me get my spray bottle. And we're just going to get some of the flyaways down. We're not spraying too much. Just so um, the hair can cooperate, basically. You want to brush it, give it a good brush, you know. So... Also, making sure that the hair is detangled before um, you put the ponytail in. Oh, sorry, y'all. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that scrunchie in. And I'm going to tell you guys something where you guys are messing up when y'all put y'all, when y'all already have your style in. Okay, so listen, if you're Caucasian and you're using scrunchies, 
once you put the hair into a ponytail, right, you want to pull it a little bit because if you leave it tight the way it is, it's going to cause you problems during the day. You guys will have headaches. Trust me, I've done hair for all different races. Like all my kid, all my uh, kids' friends were all different races from Hispanic to everything, okay? And I used to do their hair because they didn't know what to do with it. Their parents didn't know what to do with it. So I did their hair, like for school in the morning, like everything, okay? So you want to make sure that is loose because if you don't, you know what I'm saying, you're going to want to take it down. Or if you're doing this on your kids, your kids are going to want to take it down because it's too tight on the bottom of the neck right here. Um, so at this point, you want to make sure you comb out that hair because it can get kind of kinky if you're African-American. Um, and also, another thing, once you put the scrunchie on, don't use this no more, okay? Because if you was, let me show you. If you was to brush this all the way down, and I'm just showing an example, right? Brushing it, right, to keep it, right? And this is just a, a perfect example to prove my case to y'all. Because I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I watch a lot of hair videos, and I see everybody makes the same mistake. So, once, like, once the scrunchie is on and people constantly brushing it, do you see how this looks now? Like, do you see all this is, like, loose now? You see all that flyaway hair been brought down? So, let me show y'all. Which, let me comb that back down. So, let's do the same example, right? But we're going to do it with the comb. And I'm going to show you. And it has to be a certain comb, okay? A certain comb. So, I only wrap this around Nikki's hair about two to three times. Because, like I said, I want to protect that hair. So, once you comb this part, right? And if you feel like I did it kind of way too loose, okay? So, bear with me. But, basically, uh, okay, so, say for instance, let's see. Lay that uh, flyaway hair down, right? So, now... Instead of using a, a brush, you want to use the comb. And you want to use a fine tooth comb, like a rat tail or similar, like a barber's comb or something like that. Especially if you have finer hair. And that's even with uh, women. Like if you want to learn how to lay your edges down without a toothbrush and weird stuff like that, like let me know and I'll get that video out and I'll show you how to lay some bomb baby hairs without the toothbrush and that nastiness like it's disgusting so take the comb right and you want to put your hand on it after so by taking the comb you want to go down right all the way down just like that just like that just like that and look it doesn't do the thing that the brush does. It doesn't leave that hair sticking out. And at this point, you can choose to take it, wrap it up. Like, if you want the low, the low, low buns or whatever, you know, do, do that, you know. But I like to leave it like, let's tighten that a little bit. But me, I like to leave it down. I mean, if you can wear two ponytails, leave it down. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to do the other side. And see, so you can see it. And you can see that it's still slick. And I combed it, like, to make sure, like, there were no humps or whatever. And I combed it. And the hair is not sticking out. It's still into the ponytail. And I'm telling you guys, try that. It's a, it's, a, it's a game changer. 
So, I feel like I've already taken a lot of time with this first style. Y'all can in skip to the other style if you like. I'm just going to put the scrunchie on this one. And then show y'all the final product. I got you, Nikki. Nikki then fell off the dang on table. Nikki, girl. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I keep forgetting. I need a uh, a stand for Nikki. So. Girl, so Nikki hair got a little messed up when I collected her. Now, you know, if you're African American, then you definitely want to put the products that smooths your hair down. Um, my favorite thing to use on my hair is the instant control, and I use this with like some leave in conditioner type things oh also i meant to tell you i had got these i got i got two of these which i'll show you i got two sprays um let's see and i got two of these i can't reach that other one but i got two of these and two of these and i went to old navy yesterday i took my daughter and we all got some stuff from Old Navy. They're having a really big clearance deal at Old Navy. And uh, a lot of stuff was like, we grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. It was like $3 for every item. I spent like $65 in there. But this was the win right here. So um, I got these for um, $0.25 cents when you buy four. These were originally $7.99 now. And, you know, hand sanitizer has gone up since the pandemic or whatever. Uh, I don't want to say that because I don't want to get my stuff flagged. But, you know, the Rona. Okay. So, yeah, this is the hand sanitizer spray. And uh, I got two of each. And these are for at home. Basically, like, these two, the pop cap ones i keep these at home and these i'm going to be putting in my purse well i might do a duo like i might one for the hands and one for like if i'm shopping for the shopping carts uh whatever like sitting on things um the spray okay so also um i'm going to be using these around the house too to clean like the counters whatever like for like, if I'm cooking meat or something, this is good to use as well with a paper towel just to clean up. And if you don't know, try it. That's a tip for you. But, yeah, I got those from Old Navy. And they are not sponsoring this video. I wish they were. But, yeah. Um, 25 cents. You can't beat that. And you only have to buy four. And uh, check out your Old Navy. 25 cents. I would run to Old Navy. And it's only, I think it's only for four, but I'm not sure if you could do it in four to four increments and still get that same deal. I think it's only four for one customer. Well, it's not four for one customer, four for that deal for every time you come. Plus, I got a $10 off the next time I go in on any amount of purchase. Like, I can buy a $10 outfit and use that receipt of that paper and uh, get it for free. 
basically it doesn't have like a limit of the minimum that you have to buy nothing so and i don't live that far from old navy so i'll be making my visit there again so you can definitely like do the uh, bobby pins and you know clip that up something like this like where it's not like on your neck so tough and just be on the go. Can you see that? It's cute. So that is that hairstyle. Now let's hurry up with this uh, up, up, half up, half down hairdo. So you want to start with, let me show you, taking your comb behind the ear. And please make sure it's behind the ear. So, to me, I like to use, uh, I kind of like to use less hair up front and have it, uh, So, I'm going to just take this hair up. So, and then... going to leave out like a little piece of hair on the side and I'm going to do that on both sides of Nikki's head so I know um, a lot of uh, a lot of Caucasian people have a lot of trouble, you know, with this hairstyle, like putting their hair up. And I just suggest for you to, you know, do it according. Like I feel like if you don't have as long of a hair, like all the way down, like to your tailbone. This is a good hairstyle for you. Um, you know, if you have anywhere between shoulder length and maybe like bra strap length, which is like, you know, where the bra connects in the back, like this is a great hairstyle. So, I'm going to just straighten out Nikki's hair down here. And for this top part, um, you can choose, you know, to leave it down if you like. Um, I suggest, you, you know, just like, I don't like Nikki's hair like that, you know, so I wouldn't leave it down. But, you know, if your hair is longer than, you know, Nikki's, of course, by all means, do your thing, you know. I just don't find this part, like, up here, like, for her length, very flattering. So... What I like to do is, let me see. I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna do the rope uh, top knot tight bun. So I'm just twisting the hair like so. So Nikki is gonna get a top knot bun basically. So we need to keep 
this hair kind of twisted kind of tight. So. And then what then we're gonna put the scrunchie on like that and do it one more time so I don't go nowhere. And then you can choose to curl this on the sides. Or whatever you like let's put the head up and you guys can see you guys can see the back is down as well um you know you can even have a bang in the front I would do for this side I would do like a Chinese bang a little bit above the eyebrows so it's not bothering your eyes all day so do it just a little bit above the eyebrow and yeah have a have a bang you know and if you don't want to uh cut your natural hair i suggest getting like some bangs from like amazon or something because they sell bangs uh aliexpress anything like that that sells like false bangs definitely get it to your hair color that matches your hair color and uh yeah you can cut it um and yeah style it to where you know to what you would like to see on your head um they sell them i haven't seen them at like dollar general the 99 cent store i've seen them places like that so this is nikki's top knot bun and then she has her little i don't know little doilies well not doilies like little sideburn little things and then this is the back of the head and you guys can see like this is a little nice like you know girl going to school type of hairstyle um and this cute for adults too like i wouldn't have this the hair this long out like definitely like a small little like maybe this length or Maybe a little smaller, like that type of length, like a little sideburn hair out. Um, so, yeah, this is Nikki's style. Let me know what y'all think about Nikki's hair. She clearly still has some curls from earlier when I did it. So, and then it's like, is cuffed underneath because she had that curl so but from that bun it stayed curled actually from that bun so um even if you want to add like because a lot of like her hair is so thin at the end so what i do is i like to like go scrunch it up a little bit and then give it like that curled look like you know like you did something so she then came off the table so anyway this is Nikki's hairstyle and yeah she don't want to stay on the table but y'all can see like how shiny and healthy her hair look that's because I oil it with the vitamin E oil and um yeah I'll probably wash her hair tonight so, and let me know how often y'all want to see Nikki, like how many videos y'all want me to put out a week of Nikki. Like I'll do a video every day on Nikki hair because Nikki, I never get tired of playing in Nikki hair. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I feel like Nikki is like my child that her hair is so easy to do. And, um, I love the length of it. Like Nikki has. The hair I wish I had. Hair. Who is it? Who? So, hold on. Okay, so 
Yeah, yeah that, that was um, my daughter's ex-boyfriend's mom. So, um, yeah, so this is Nikki Hairstyle. Let me know what you guys want to see next with Nikki's hair. Um, if Nikki can cooperate, because y'all see Nikki be falling all over the place. I'm going to have to set up something for Nikki somewhere else or get a stand for her because clearly my desk doesn't have where, you know, where it won't come off because it's flat on top and bottom. And it doesn't have like where there's a piece right there where it won't come off. So I need to find a different spot to do Nikki's hair for sure. I can probably try the bathroom or something. I don't know, but... Let me know what you guys think. You know, tell them thank you, Nikki. Like, we're getting more subscribers because of you, Nikki. Like, tell the world thank you. Huh? Ah, she said thank you and she loves you guys so much. And she appreciate you guys subscribing to our channel and uh, liking her hair videos. If you want to see more of Nikki getting her hair done, Comment in the comment section. Uh, stay tuned and watching because there will be more hair videos from Nikki. Like I said, if you guys want to see me braid her hair or any styles like that. If you guys want to see more kid hairstyles, more adult hairstyles, let me know and uh, we'll get it out to y'all. So, I appreciate you. Nikki, appreciate you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.